Wow, 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 wow. The Bible is so a symbolic book, man. It's, it's very hard to overstand it, how the white men put it together. Yes, it's so hard. In Genesis chapter 1, it speaks about <clears throat> the food that man should eat. But it's all mixed up. Yes. In, let me see where it was here. In Genesis chapter 28. Uh, verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seeds upon the earth, and all trees that have in themselves seeds of their own kind to be your meat. And to all beasts of the earth, and to every fowls of the air, and to all that move upon the earth, and and wherein there is life, that they may have to feed upon. And it was so done. And God say all these things that he had made. And they were very good. Now, everything God said man must eat. All the trees that have seasoned it, and all the bearing trees that have fruits, all of it should be eaten by man. All the animals. And if you go to Leviticus, some part there, it contradicts the Bible. Huh? It contradict itself. I should have this picked out, but I have not picked it out. What you should not eat. In Leviticus chapter, it tell you in Leviticus chapter what you should not eat. Unclean, Animals. So I do not understand. But look, I have to get that another time. But in Leviticus it said, you should not eat the animals with no, that does not chew their cud. You should not eat the fish that does not have scale. But what I'm saying, it's all mix up, mix up stories. So that's what I'm saying, how the white men put my grandfather's story together. Tell you you should not eat this, you should not eat that. So now, look. 
Many people think man is very important more than the rest of creatures that is here. Look, the lion will eat a human being. The human being eat lion. Dog eat human being. Human being eat dogs. The vulture, human being eat vulture. The vulture eat human being. Tiger eat human being. Human being eat tigers. Pig eat human being. Human being eat pigs. Fish of the ocean eat human being. Human being he fish of the ocean. So you see what I'm saying? Birds eat human being bodies. And human being eat birds. So everything's in mix up. So if you really check it out, it doesn't matter what you eat, as long as it's not poison. As long as it not poisoned by another human being or nature poison. Did you hear me? Because everything is everything. And in the book, God said, the God of the Bible said, <coughs> you eat every living thing that he made that have life within themselves and everything that creep upon the face of the earth and in the ocean. Then it go all the way back to Leviticus. So God made a mistake. The God of the Bible made a mistake because you know the word God is made by man. No creature come up on the face of the earth and see a big name say God or their big name in space say God there's no name in space say God are written in stone those are man made up stories but let's go with the stories we need something to guide us but who made up these stories who made these stories up from the Bible that's my question. Black man, who made the story up of the Bible and where do they get the stories from to make the Bible? It's very simple. Because the stories that we are reading is made by Latin, it's made by Greek, Dutch, You want to call them Italians or whatever? So the story I'm not made up by black people. But the original stories that helped to put this book together is from my grandfather. And you can argue as much as you want to because this story is from the land of Africa, as they call it Africa. You know, the white people go into the motherland and divide it, and they put barriers, and they put lines. We all know that, don't you? You don't know that. If you do not know that, you're too blind. They came to the Western world, as they call it, and they put borders and they put line. You don't know that? If you do not know that, it's too bad. There was no line and border here. The people that were living here go from one place to another. Huh? 
the people that were living here go from one place to another. Also, the people that was living into the place you call Africa go from one place to another. It take them many time to reach their destination because they were not into a rush. They take the donkeys and the what, cows or mule and they go. When darkness come, they take a rest. When the light time come, they move on again. Some of them plant grains on the way where they're going. If some people is going from the Congo to Ethiopia, they plant grains on the way. On the way back, they can have harvest their grains. It's not no one day trip. Or it's not no one month trip. Hello? It's same when the people came to the Western world. From California to New York, it takes months. They didn't have any car, no trains. So they have to use their dangy and a buggy cart. My grandfather had two of those. He got two buggy carts that he, he take women to the market. And he was very successful because he got homes. He got a whole bunch of land. I do not know where he get the land from, if he purchases or not. But he have acres and acres, and he sell to all the people. And the remaining acres, it's about 50 to 40 acres remain that he have not sold. But you can see that he sell patch and patch of the land. And it was the same way in the United States. The white men came here and he took the land away from the people that were living here. And he divided among themselves. You don't know that. What do you mean you do not know that? They are telling you that. The white people are telling you. Not, not the black men wrote the history. The white men is telling you that they took the land away from the Indian and killed them, as you call them Indian. There are the people that are telling you that. And what's happened? The remaining one they put on reservation, as they call it, circle it around and put them there. So they can violate the laws that they laid down. So he's a clever man. And remember, it's not the original. But he's not the original, original man, but he's very clever. Because he put laws down, and if you break the laws, it gives you punishment. He gave you white men punishment. And his punishment is to tie you up and beat you. And he's still doing the same thing today. Today, You break his law, he tie you up and he beat you. He's not only beating you alone, he shoot you. Boom! You're dead and gone. Then you cry. And you cry and stop for a while. Boom! Start crying again, and he stop for a while. And he's stirring you up because you can't do nothing. Black man, when the white men kill your people, you can't do nothing. See those white men there? See that white man behind me and those people? All of those people on the background, <coughs> they're white people. And when your people kill your people, you can't do nothing, you cry. Why do you cry? Because that white man you call God or Jesus belongs to the white people. So he's not going to save the Negro 
or the woolly man. He, he, he does smile when the white man beat him. Because the white man is that's their family. Maybe it sounds silly to you, but you don't understand. Those icons of the white man, his God is white. But my black people believe into that God. Because you're using the name God and you're using the word Jesus. You need to abolish those two names. Because they are not African words or name. Huh? They are not African words or name. So you need to sit down and when you read the Bible, you read Genesis, you need to see how many words are there from Africa. I know you're going to say, hey, it's in English. Of course, this is in English. But see how many words in Genesis that came from Africa. These words are going to be from either Germany, France, or Spain. They're not going to be from Africa. Yeah. But you see, the English language have been made up. So when it made up, they got to take words from different language. So the different language was Latin, Dutch, Greek, German, but no African, no Arabic, no Hebrew, no Arabic. Just give the big one, big language in Africa. Because we have many, many languages, but different and a lot of dialects. And the old Hebrew. You don't have a lot of words in the Bible. See how funny it is? But yet still we believe in those white people. They are the savior of mankind. Those icons, look at the icon. The preacher need to change their ways of teaching their people are teaching the black man. Wake him up. You have to wake him up the right way. Cause you're dead. What do you mean they're dead? Look, a man that is using drugs, that man made, he's a dead man. He's dead. Because he's using drugs and drugs totally kill the mind and kill the spirit of the human being. And we have preachers that is using drugs. If you get pharmaceutical company drugs from the drugstore, they also drugs. Valium is drugs. All, the, all type of crazy stuff they have. And you've got preachers that is taking Valium. <laughs> you've got preachers that is taking Valium. You've got preachers that is sniffing cocaine. What type of mess? Oh, that's their personal business. No, you cannot teach other people things and use drugs. Something going to be messed up sooner or later. You can't drink alcohol and t t try to preach. I'm going to give an example. I want 
was driving past a church in Los Angeles one Sunday and this lady flagged me down she need a ride I said where are you going young lady she said she have to go to Hingerwood and she's crying I said what's the matter she said a friend of ours into the church take her to the restroom and climb up on top of the toilet seat and put his hand over and take down a crack pipe and they both smoke into the church into the restroom now she want more drugs so she have to leave the church and crying so you see you think she's lying she's not the only one that smoke drugs into the restroom of the church it's same like the nightclub. They go to the restroom and there's used drugs in there. So the point what I'm making, a lot of these people that go to church and they drink alcohol in the restroom. So they can get into that hallelujah thing. Also the minister go into his private room and take a sip before he come out. You will see the fraud of their mouth. They're foaming at the mouth. So they'll be wiping them out every minute with the handkerchief. Because they're either high or they're getting off their high. Some of them, the high ladies swell. Volume swell your high leg. Weed sell your, swell your high leg. So look, when you see the preachers preaching on his high lady swell, he's on the something. And a lot of them do a lot of messed up stuff. Because there's no body out there to correct them. They have to the money. You know the money? That's what they have to. And this poor little old lady will be going to church and giving them all these hundred dollar bill and they will give them a kiss on the cheek so next Sunday they can bring them two hundred dollar bill because most of these old lady doesn't have a man man doesn't want them and they have no use for man some of them already killed their husband so man saw fear in them so man stay away from them some of them use black magic. Also, the preacher use black magic. He go to the witch at night when no one is looking. You don't know that part. You know why? Because you've been locked up in your cave for too long. But a lot of these preachers Let's seek out the sorcerers. Let's seek out the voodoo man. Let's seek out the voodoo priest. Some of them go in disguise, makeup on the face, dark glasses. I know that. They come when no one is seeing them. And that's how these people are doing stuff. What I'm saying, you can't be preaching to the people and doing all this stuff. We need to get into our real understanding of what our people need in life. Those people there behind me and my background is not going to help you. They have no power to help you. The man you call Jesus have no power to help you. Because there's no such man. Bring another name. You have to come with another name. It's not an African name and it's not an African word. So how do you fall for that? You fall for a strange word into your land.
How are you going for that? That's a strange word into your land. The word God is a strange word into your land of Africa. It's not from there. It's a dramatic word from Germany. We need to know the origins of word, where they come from, where the white men get them from, how we make them up, and put his own meaning to them. We got our own words of Africa with the meaning of everything. Not come from another place. Those words are from there. Before men could speak it, he hotter. He moaned and groaned. And the moaning, there is meanings in his moaning. <laughs> meanings are there, so his people understand him. And he start bagging to and they still overstand each other. Now the white man came in existence and he made up his own words. Is that something I'm making up? He made his own words up for his own people. And it's called the English language. And the people that he go to other land and took away from those land and brought into his domain, he forced that language upon them. So they must overstand him. Huh? They must overstand him. So by we don't overstand what is taking place, <coughs> we let the brutality continue. You think it's going to stop? Do you think it's going to stop? When there is no one to stand up for you, the woolly man. The white men have all authority over you. Any place you go, the white men have authority over the black people. Don't mention Africa. The white men control Africa. North, South, East and West, they control it. And black men is speaking nonsense. They do not want to overstand. White men is, is they continue going into Africa, as you call it Africa. They keep on moving in there. The Dutch, the Scandinavian, the Norwegian, the Danish, the Denmark, Finland, the Russian, the German, they just keep on going down into Africa. And you know what they're doing? Also the Chinese. And you know what they're you know what they're doing? They're breeding your woman. They're breeding the woolly woman. And bringing out babies different. And you sit back and think it's all right when you see the white man with your woman. Can't do nothing. Or you think it's a better life for your woman. No, it's not no better life. You're messing up your race. Because a white man is taking your woman and bringing them. The Chinese doing it. We can't let that take place. We can't let it continue like that. We got to change it. We are the original people of... Look, I'm going to say it one more time. You see the hurt? We call it the hurt. The whole hurt belongs to me. The all work belongs to the black man. From north, south, east, and west is the original man for the hurt. And everything in it belongs to him. 
all the diamond, all the gold, all the mineral, the ocean belongs to him. Every one of the fish in the ocean, the forest belongs to him. But guess what? He let other people took it away from him. Are you understand what I'm saying? They all work. They all hurt. Getting twisted up. Belong to the black man. He was the only one here a long time ago. Long time ago. He was the only one in here. And because of his silliness, he brought for other people with interference. There's no God bring forth those people as you use the word God. There's no deity bring forth those people. They came out of the black man with interference. Not no Neangotan and no Homo sapiens. No, those are bullshit. The white man is trying to blend himself out. So you can you don't reject him completely. That's what they're doing. If I said he's not the original man, look, he's telling you the same thing I'm telling you. Because when you speak, black people don't listen. You have to be white for them to overstand or listen to what. If I was white, they listen. All of them would listen. What I'm saying, the whole hurt belongs to the black people. And he brought forth interference in his life. He been here from time and time. He, he can't tell you when he was here. Because he have no beginning. The black man. It's just like the herd. It have no beginning. It have, it have not been made and it not have been created. Who are telling you that? White man is telling you that from this book. Did you know people know things and they don't need a book? You don't have to have a book to know things. Before there was no book. Before the Moses them and before the Pharaohs them, there was no book. So how do they know to build buildings? How do they know to dam the river? How do they know to take gold from the ground? How do they know to bake bricks? They learn from themselves. They're not demons come from the element and taught them things. No, everything is inside of the head. All the computers in here, the, the computer comes out of your head. The car comes out of your head. The TV comes out of your head. The book comes out of your head. The airplane comes out of your head. There is no man coming existent and see those things. They have come out of your head. They're in here. So there's a lot of people know things without book. And those people that live before us know things be without books. Because they didn't have book long time ago. And they did not have scroll long time ago. because they didn't need those. They live in time, light time and dark time. And they also die in time. Hello? They didn't have no years when they died. 2001, 2000. Those are bullshit people are making up. Those are what man made. Man made minutes, hour, days, months and weeks. Nature doesn't make those up. But by you can't overstand your stuff. You stuck by you don't overstand. As I said, if you listen carefully, you will overstand. Because there's a lot of things that is not in book. There's a lot of things that is in the brains of man that is not revealed out of his brains as yet. And once they completely reveal out of his brain, everything will change. 
And once the black man returned to his destination, once all the black men returned to his destination, we will have a new time. And the new time will be for him only like before. As I said, if you keep on watching and if you keep on telling a friend and keep on telling a friend, we can overstand more and leave those white Jesus alone and leave these white God alone because we're not going to help you in no way. We've never been helped by those white icons. Never, never, never. As I said, peace, respect to the black man or respect to the woolly man. I'm out of here.